Jupiter Media presents Avasar telecasting global opportunities Hello and namaste welcome to Avasar program this program is all about education educational news views and your career and we are time and again visiting in different historic destinations and sharing the experience of international student Today we are going to talk about study in New Zealand why international student could have choose New Zealand for their higher education and what sort of the institutions are there for higher education so to provide you all detail about it we have very special guest from RBS Intellect who is none other than Varad Chawla he is director of uh, RBS Intellect let's welcome him to the show Varad you are welcome on our show Thank you, Mr. Sunil. Well, uh, thank and pleasure, my pleasure to be in your show. Okay, we are quite happy to having you in this platform so that we will be able to share the fresh information about study opportunities in New Zealand. Sure. So, first of all, let's have a talk about your visit here in Nepal. This is my first visit after COVID. I mean, long awaited. I used to come twice or thrice a year before COVID, and um, the idea of this visit is to promote New Zealand education and also to. Uh, we have set up a, our uh, office in uh, Nepal uh, under the RBS name and promote that office to these students. That's all. Okay. So once again, you are welcome in our uh, Nepal and country of mountain and Himalayas. So you are quite familiar with the Nepal market and promoting the New Zealand education. Let's have a talk about the RBS intellect and how it is going to serve to Nepalese uh, sub agents and partners. So the RBS intellect uh, is, is a company which we started uh, around 10 years ago in New Zealand. Ideas to promote and see that how we can uh, support and provide options for various institutions in New Zealand. So we do represent universities, we do represent polytechnics, which is the Pukinga, we do represent private institutions at the same time. And what we are providing a service, we are giving the options of scholarships to uh, students, we are providing the service of, um, say, visas, and at the same time we are providing that what is the right career to choose from. So there will be multiple training sessions, um, webinars with institutions, and long-term plan is to students should be aware what course they are choosing, what's the outcome, and what's the long-term plan. Yeah, of course. Actually, you have very good ideas of uh, studying New Zealand program and the uh, courses and uh, very varieties of things. And you, you have spent a very long time in the same profession. So talking about the New Zealand education, why international students could have choose New Zealand for their higher education? See, there are one, uh, a couple of things on a lot of positive points. One is a safe country. But the biggest point is that, you know, uh, New Zealand and Nepal uh, have a very strong relationship with uh, with uh, and Sherpa and the uh, Edmund Hillary. Mm -hmm. So one of the point is that when we see ne Nepal and New Zealand, the, the similarities are there. Um, it's an OECD country. Um, it's an English-speaking country. It's a safe, uh, least populated country. You are getting good outcomes of jobs. So there are positives are there which are good for students to go in. And for me, what I feel is that um, I normally call and I've, been, I've, I've spoken to so many Nepali students in the last two decades of my working, it's like second home, <laughs> which I say, and it becomes easier. Okay, so let's have a talk about the RBS intellect uh, function. So how it will help to Nepalese partners and the students? See, uh, for Nepalese partners, what we are doing is that we are helping them to see and choose and apply to multiple institutions. Some of them they represent, some of them they don't represent. We are helping them to support in the visa processing, where what are the say tricks and what are the issues which are coming in and ideally it's uh, with the experience visa team we have we have people which are there from last 10 to 15 years doing visas for New Zealand only other part we are helping students to see that which careers are in import in a kind of uh, skill shortage list or or the long-term skill list what are the out good outcome for them and what are the way and pathway they can work and in long term they can settle in New Zealand Okay, so it talking will. about the unique feature of RBS, how it will be like very easy or what are the uh, additional uh, value working with RBS? So working with RBS is that we, uh, the way we operate, the, the support and service, which is key. Uh, we, want making, we are making sure that service should be within 24 to 48 hours. That's a key point. Second, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a trust and the branding which we have uh, at the person like, I've been here, I've been representing institution here, I've been uh, coming with a couple of government delegations. Idle is that to see that how we can up 
the game or up the market of New Zealand in a way that what is the long term benefit and what's the good outcomes, uh, which people don't know. A lot of time there are multi, there are very limited players, uh, limited knowledge of New Zealand. So we want to add more knowledge and give more options and operations here, which I feel that's needed for now. Okay. So what are the university and colleges working so, uh, or tie up with the RBS? Currently, uh, RBS is working with 50 plus institutions in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So we have five uh, universities which we are working with, which is AUT, University, uh, University of Waikato, Victoria University of Wellington and others. At the same time, we work with all the politics, which is the new name is Tupikinga. I think you know very well. And then we work with major private providers in the country. What we're doing, in an average, we have a full book here of around 5,000 plus courses which are on offer at various levels in New Zealand. And again, it has been uh, with a different fee level also uh, and a different work, uh, work pathway outcomes also. Okay. Uh, from the perspective of the student, uh, how it will be easy to working with RBS-related uh, uh, partners to grab more scholarships? See, one of the things what we are saying is that if students are good and capable, there are options from universities and institutions to give scholarship. But at the same time, RBS, uh, from our end also, we do provide scholarship to, uh, to good students who are looking to come and uh, study in New Zealand. And on the major part is that we want to see that what are the career outcome they can achieve in terms of what they're studying here and what they will study there. End of the day, we want them to see that, okay, yes, they've added value to their um, education and career. Okay. You are here to share the uh, like options and opportunities of uh, uh, latest intake and uh, even you have already elaborated about the very strong university network and the uh, polytechnic institutions. So how does RBS Intellect collaborate with Student service, uh, Services uh, Solution Private Limited? So uh, we have been, uh, this will be a franchise structure. So what we're doing is that with SSL uh, Global, which they have their own kind of presence, which is pretty good. We are providing them an extra benefit that what as a New Zealand destination they can offer to their students. Second, uh, we are trying to reach out to all our uh, partners in New Zealand that what more opportunities they can have through this network. And at the same time, for students, um, I think there are multiple, uh, say, scholarship opportunities, the course uh, choice opportunities. And at the same time, we have a network of recruitment partners in New Zealand. So if somebody is coming to study, we can help them to find jobs also in the relevant area. Okay. Thank you so much, Bharat, for the uh, very informative uh, information you have provided to the student and parents so that they can shape their career or career pathway to study with New Zealand educational institutions. So finally, what is your message to the prospective student and parents? Um, for every student and parents, what I recommend is that please do research, do take the um, information from us. We want to make sure that we, you get a lot of data and information before you make a decision. Because this is, a, I, I don't say it's only a money spend, it's a, you're spending a time and it's a journey. If you don't take a right decision now, it will affect you in the next uh, two decades to come in. That's the answer that. The idea is that we can add about the green list and all, there are a lot of um, skill shortage courses. If students are looking into the area that, yes, I want to go for engineering, which engineering courses are better, uh, what are the work visa options, so there are, if you're going for master's, there are more work rights uh, comparatively if you're going to a postgraduate diploma and other options. So it'll be good to see and check your opportunities. Don't just make a decision on basis of um, what your friend is saying or to what your uncle and aunt are saying. Do take professional advice is what I did. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for um, bringing me in the show. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, sir. Our sir, telecasting global opportunities.